Hi, Claude Fallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. Short video about site indexing. Generally, when you create a website, you um, put content on it, and then you try to get it indexed by Google quickly. And you can do that by going and getting backlinks, and there are, there are strategies for that. But once you get your site indexed, then uh, that's nice, because that means the search engine has found you, and uh, it will start put it, putting you in the search results. Now, there is a tricky thing that can happen, and that is you can create a website with a prefix, the www dot whatever domain name prefix, but you can also create it without the prefix. And sometimes you can do what I did, and you can use both. Well, the problem with using both is that Google considers a website with a prefix to be separate from a website without a prefix. So you end up with the following problem. Here is my website, affiliate starting line, with the prefix. The command is site colon www domain name, and it'll tell you and show you whether you're indexed or not. And here the result is showing one result. Now this website has been indexed for a lot more pages than that, and I'm saying Google is telling me that this website is indexed for one page. So I tried to figure out what the solution was or what was going on, and, and then I went back and I just entered the same command, colon, without the prefix, and sure enough, there appeared more results. What does that mean? That means that Google considers both sites to be different. So I went into my Google Webmaster Tools and the Google Webmaster Tools is a back office area in your Google account, and if you don't have a, a Google account, you're going to need one. And if you have a Google account and you haven't set up Webmaster Tools, set one up. And you can come in and create an account and enter a domain, and it will uh, allow you to get data and control certain functions of that domain. And one of them is indexing. So what happens in this in this particular uh, case is that I had a domain w with a prefix registered in Webmaster Tools. But I had been using a, another domain without the prefix. To fix the problem, I had to come into my Webmaster Tools, create and add a site without the prefix. Now I had two sites. And then I was able to go into my dashboard of the first site, go to Site Configuration, go to Settings, and then designate my new website. I could designate either one, but I picked my new website without the prefix as a preferred domain. That is Google's way of saying, you've got two domains, which one do you want me to place most of or index all your material in? and uh, tell me which one is the preferred one, and, I and it gives you that option. So I picked and created my preferred domain. That means that all my material now will be indexed under that one domain, and I will use that domain when I'm doing research so that I can get data back that is accurate about my own particular domain, and it comes in handy when you're doing comparative research against a competitor or another website. So, And when somebody pulls up that name that you want to make sure that the stats about it are correct. So that's how you correct that. Now once you've picked your preferred domain and your webmaster tools, Google tells you you want to go into your web host and you want to come down into your web host to redirects and you want to redirect to your new preferred domain all of the flow of information from the domain that you are now designated as designated as non-preferred. So you come into your redirects and it varies from host to host. Pick the domain, your old domain with the prefix, put in the new one without the prefix, click add, and you're done. So that is how you take care of the problem of setting up a preferred domain when you have the prefix and non-prefix problem uh, splitting your data. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.